Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful forest flowers seed bead set. It consists of bracelet and earrings but you could do one of them of your choice if you want. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it even if you are a beginner. Down there in description you will find a lot of resources and what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way, you help me so much. And now, without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 o seed beads. You could use 10 o's, I think. And here I'm using black, dark blue, blue, light pink, pink and white. And here I'm also using a clasp and jump rings and earring findings for the earring because you know I'm making a set. If you make only one of those, you will need only this or only this, it's up to you. Here I'm using Nymo nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D and by the way you could check description for full list of materials link to Facebook and Instagram pages where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials and you will also see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel which besides the other perks is a course of five tutorials with peyote stitch okay let's continue this is size 10 beading needle maybe it will be easier for you if you use 11 or 12 as well here i'm using scissors and these are flat nose pliers that i use to attach my clasp to my work okay and now i'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back Okay guys, and the first thing I'm going to do here is to show you how to make one of those beautiful colorful elements that make my bracelet and my earrings. Okay, and I'm going to start with 8 black beads. Okay, and I have here my 8. Okay, and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and what I do is that I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then what I want to do is to make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure okay this is what I have now and I want to go through some beads and in this direction and pull a little bit. Okay, now this is what I have. Now in my next step, what I'm going to pick up are five of these dark blue beads. They have a purple nuance. Okay, and I take five of them. And I skip one of the black beads and I go through the following black. Okay. Now I have this and I'm going to take five again. Okay, I have five. Skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Five beads. Okay, five. Skip the one that's on my way, go through the following and one more time. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the very first one that I started the whole row from. And what I do next is that I go through two of these dark blue beads. And I want to take a light blue, a black and a light blue. Okay, this is what I have. And I skip the one that's sticking out the most or the middle of the five beads and I go through the following. Then again, I'm going to take blue, black, blue. Go in the second dark blue. 
and again blue black blue and go again through the one after the middle through the fourth beat counting from here okay then i will continue these guys until the end of this row it is absolutely the same way that is why i'm gonna be showing this faster Okay, and pay attention where I go here as I finish the row in the second dark blue bead like I did before. Then I will go through the blue and the black that is sticking out the most. And now I'm going to take five light pink beads. Okay, I have my five here and I go in the next black. Okay. I want to take five again. Okay, five. Go in the next black. Then again. And guys, this is what I'm going to be doing until the end of this row. I'm going to be adding five beads between the blacks. And this is really easy and simple. That is why I will do this and I will come back to show you the result. Okay, do this four more times and meet me here. And as you may see guys, this row is really easy and simple. And now I'm going through the last black bead, which was also the first where I started my row from. And now what I want to do is go through these two pink beads. And I'm going to take my next color, which is dark pink, and I take three beads. I skip the central one of these five beads and I go through the following. Okay, this is what I have now. And I'm going to take one black bead and I'm going here in the second light pink bead counting from the center from the black bead here and I pull then I need three dark pink beads skip the central one that's on my way and I go through the following then I take just one black go in the second light pink and then take again three skip the central pop this a little bit in this direction and go like this then guess what i need just one black bead and i'm going here in the second light pink bead and i pull and i will continue these guys until the end of this row if you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and see. And I'll meet you in a while here. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead from this row. And then what I want to do is go through the first of those three dark pink beads that I added in my previous row. And what I need are three white beads. Okay, I have them. Then I skip the middle of the tree and I go here in the third dark pink. And then what I need are just two black beads. Okay, two. And then I go again in the first dark pink bead like this. And I need three white beads. And then again two black ones. And in the first dark pink. Again three. Skip the central one and go in the third. 
again two and go here in the first one and then again three and by the way guys this row is really easy and pleasant and i'll let you do this by yourself until the end because it consists all the time of three whites and two blacks and i'm sure you're gonna be able to make it okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last two black beads from this row and then i go through the first two white beads and i'm going to take my earring finding like this and i will take two black beads then my earring finding slide those down and then i will take two more black beads okay you see what i have two black beads earring finding two black beads and as i'm here i'm going back in circle through this white bead that's sticking out the most and in this way i'm attaching my earring finding okay this is one way to attach it you could attach it between the petals if you want but i'm attaching it here now like this now if you want before making a knot you could go around uh, reinforcing your work but now I will show you how I'm making my knot and cutting my thread I make here a loop and I go once then second time through this loop I've made before I pull I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started the knot from and then pull then by the way you could repeat this knot several times and when you're ready with your last knot you go through some beads in this direction then take your scissors and cut your thread okay and now in my next step i will make two elements like this without cutting my thread and i will show you the beginning of my bracelet okay guys and as you may see i made two more elements like this absolutely the same way and now i'm going to show you guys how to connect those into a bracelet okay now i'm taking the first one of them i'm exiting through this pink bead if you're not exiting through this just reposition your thread and uh, go through one of those pinks and now what i want to do is take five black beads okay and i go here in this pink in this way guys i'm making a loop where later i will attach my jump ring and my clasp okay now i'm going through these two black beads because i want to reinforce this joint that i'm making here and go again through this one and then again through all of those beads and by the way pay attention where i'm doing this loop here of beads uh, at the one of the points of my square in the center you see don't do it here at the sides of your of your square do it here at the angle okay now what i want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and how i do this i make here a loop like i showed you before and i go twice through this loop i've made and i pull and then i go through some beads by the way uh, i know that there are people out there that don't make knots just go through the beads zigzagging and cut my thread this is another way to do this if you want and now i'm cutting this thread okay now i will move my needle 
at the thread of my other element and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have another element here with a thread and a needle on it. And now what I want to do is connect these elements together and start my bracelet. Okay, this is where my clasp will be and this element should be connected. And pay attention how I want to connect them. Uh, as you see in the center you have a square and I want to connect the angles of the square and not its sides. So don't put it like this, you see like a regular square put it like this and uh, in this way i think it looks better like a rhombus and if you understand me so now i will connect this one and this one so i take one black bead and as i'm exiting here through this white bead if you're not there just go through this white reposition your thread to be there and then uh, go through this white that is sticking out the most and pull then take just one black bead and go in the same white but from the opposite side like making a loop between those two white beads with blacks you see what i have here Maybe you will see it better like this. Okay, and then I pull. And I want to reinforce this joint here, guys. By going one more time around it. Okay, now I have these two petals connected and what I want to do is go in this direction and connect the neighbor petal petals. Okay, I'm going here and my goal guys is to reposition my thread to exit through this white bead that is sticking out the most. Okay, this one. And I want to connect it with this white that is sticking out the most. And what I do is that I take one. I go here. Then I take just one. And I go here. Then again, what I have is this loop between the beads that I tighten up. And I want to go one more time through it. Now make here a knot, cut your thread, then make next element which you should connect the same way here and continue until you have six elements. You could do less or more depending on your wrist. For my wrist there are six, so I will repeat this step four more times and I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I continue attaching my elements one by one, Absolutely the same way that I showed you. Here I am at my sixth element that I just attached to my fifth element and in the same direction as you may see like rhombus not like square if you understand me. And now what I want to do is go in this direction through some beads and I want to exit through this purple bead in this direction. Okay. I don't want to make you watch me struggle to all of those beads. That is why I'll meet you when I'm up to this bead. Okay, and as I went through all of those beads here, I'm exiting out of this dark pink bead. And what I'm going to take are five black beads. Okay, five. This is the same thing that I did from the other side. Then I go through this pink. I reinforce it, make a knot and cut my thread.
Okay, now my bracelet is almost ready, but I'm going to attach now my clasp and how I do this. I just take my pliers and my jump ring, I open this one up, I put it here, then I put here the clasp and squeeze back, okay, in the same direction as I opened it, okay, and I'm going to repeat it from the other side and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now my colorful forest flowers beaded set is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. And you could also like, share and comment. You help me so much with this action. Check description for full list of materials and Facebook page to share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And uh, there will be also a link for my PayPal for donations and developing this channel. And you will see what you get if you decide to become a member as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.